In this video, we're going to look at using table mode and the QR code feature on the ClassWiz to show transform graphs on the Casio Edu Plus app. We're going to draw the graph of y equals cosine x and the graph of y equals cosine of a half x on the Edu Plus app via the table mode. So press menu and then down to table mode or press 9. Now we're going to input our fx as cosine x. Don't forget to close your brackets here and equals, and then gx we're going to input as our transformed function, which is cosine of a half x. I'm going to input this as x over 2, and again, best practice here to close your brackets. Press equals. Now I'm going to initially show the range of between 0 and 360, so I'm going to have a start of 0 and an end of 360, and a step of, well, I'm going to go for 20 degrees. So it will show me coordinate points from the graphs every 20 degrees. Press equals. And here we have our dual table. fx, remember, is cos x and gx is cos of a half x. Now, in order to produce the graphs via the Edu Plus app, we need to generate a QR code. So if you press shift and then QR, this is the QR code which is going to be read by the mobile device and accessed by the Edu Plus app to generate the graphs. So next we need to go to our mobile device. I'm doing this on my iPhone and access the Casio Edu Plus app. And then we want to select the first option, the top option there, QR code. Now I'm going to scan the QR code from the actual ClassWiz here rather than the computer emulator. And I would recommend that you do it in an environment with good light so that the QR code is nice and clear for your phone's camera and it might take a few attempts sometimes to focus in on the QR code. Once it's scanned successfully, then it brings up a link to open it in your browser. I'm going to open in Safari. And here we have the summary of our input, cosine x and cosine x over two. If I scroll down, then I've got the graph of the function there between 0 and 360. We can clearly see some key features there. We've got a maximum value of one, a minimum value of negative one. The good thing that we can do within the Edu Plus app is we can expand the amount of the graph that we can see. So if you press on the cog icon for settings, and then you can alter the end, and we can go a bit bigger than perhaps we could on the actual class was here. So I'm going to change the end to 720 degrees and done and then if you just press draw and that will redraw the graph for us and here we have the graph from 0 to 720 and clearly we can see a lot more so what have we got displayed here well fx remember was cosine x and we can clearly see we've got two complete waves of the cosine graph there going from 0 to 360 and then from 360 to 720 and in that same space gx which remember was cosine of x over 2 or a half x has just done one complete wave going from a start of 1 there back up to 1 in the space of 0 to 720. So we can see there that the transformation that's happened is that it's been a stretch in the x-axis by a scale factor of 2. The wavelength is now twice as long for our transformed graph. And if you wanted to look at the graph a little bit larger you can change this to landscape by rotating your phone. Maybe it won't come across as clearly on my video here, but you rotate it and will take up the full size of the phone screen so that you can have a look at the graph in a little bit more detail. So there we go, how we can use graphs generated in table mode with the QR codes on the ClassWiz and in combination with the Casio Edu Plus app can create graphs from our original function and our transformed function.